All right, guys, we are back. This week we have something special. What do you know about the flat Earth? Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back to Regeneration TV. New week, and I have. Jerson, the scholar. I'm not a scholar. Uh, he's a scholar in my heart. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of theories going around, and uh, one of them is actually the flat earth. I'm sure everybody's been hearing about it. If not, do your research. It's pretty intense. Uh, so, what do you know about the flat earth? Um, it seems to be a small group of people that. Um, that are asking questions about this whole round earth um, I guess they think it's a belief um, they think NASA is um, and the government is part of this big conspiracy um, well and is it isn't NASA a conspiracy like they how much money did they get and then what do we get a couple of bad pictures of earth right well we asked for more pictures, like, what, current pictures, and all this is going around, yeah. but they haven't provided one new picture. Well, it's been a long time, and they have not gotten as much money as they used to. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they haven't gotten as much funding How many telescopes lately. are up in... How many satellites? Yeah. We have thousands of satellites. Satellites, and none of them can produce one picture right now. Uh, not all of them are equipped with cameras, but there is, there is a big satellite. That the uh, International Space Station, which I know that the uh, that uh, that's supposed to be part of the hoax as well, that it's uh, that it's fake. Oh. It's uh, ISS, International Space Station. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have pictures um, from a lot of satellites, actually. We have pictures from yes. a lot, yes. and they all look the same, but Photoshop. Well, that's the claim, right? The Photoshop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, if you look at it, look at all the pictures, apparently there's a one, the very common one that if you look at the clouds, they look like they were, somebody got bored and copy and pasted the rest of the clouds and they look identical. Well, I mean, uh, if you ever seen uh, the documentary Planet Earth, um, the introduction to that includes a view from a satellite and um, that has to be, if that is photoshopped, I mean, that has to be some of the best quality Photoshop I've ever seen because it's That's pretty good. If they can make a big girl look skinny, <laughs> they can do whatever on Photoshop. Okay, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> but, but other than that, um, we, have, uh, we have the theory of the small group, the flat earth, and then there's a dome around it. And then if you didn't see the picture of the flat earth, there's uh, Antarctica, which is the ring around it. Uh, so, tell me about why is it impossible for this? Um, so, from what I've read up, there, there's actual there's actually one huge uh, fact that uh, flat earthers cannot answer mm -hmm. uh, because in the flat Earth model, um, the whole planet Earth should see the same sky. Mm -hmm. It's just one flat, whatever you want to call it, disc or plane, mm -hmm. and the sky is above it, which means that no matter where you are on Earth, everyone should see the same sky. That's, but I heard that the flat Earth believers think that the flat Earth is staying still and everything rotating around it. Exactly, so. Everything is rotating around it, uh, meaning things change. Right, so they have the flat Earth. It's not, it's not moving anywhere. But everything is rotating. And everything even else the is galaxies rotating. and all that yes. is rotating around it. So whatever is rotating around the Earth, whoever is on this flat Earth, when they look up to the sky, they should all see the same, the same stuff rotate around it. Yeah. And so uh, that has to be the case in the flat Earth. The problem is, is that. Um, the northern, so if we go back to the, the globe earth model, 
the people on the north side of the earth have one sky mm -hmm. and the people on the south side the southern half of the earth see a different sky the people on the north side of the ball see the sky that's on top of the ball the people that are on the south side on the bottom side of the ball when they look up they're actually looking down and they see the bottom sky so uh, the fact that this is actually observable like you can actually look up you know Australian sky or South America sky and it is completely different completely completely different constellations um, they don't they don't even see the North Star if you go to Australia you can't see the North Star if you go to the southern tip of Argentina or Chile they don't see Polaris Polaris is the North Star where everything when we look up north from uh, North America and we see this North Star we see this one star that doesn't seem to move all the galaxies and stars kind of rotate around it okay. so if it's a flat earth everyone should be able to see this North Star or at least see see it some uh, partially with the rest of the stars revolving around that one North Star unfortunately anybody who lives in South Africa South America Australia they don't see this North Star instead what they see is the Southern Cross and the Southern Cross is this group of stars on the bottom sky that is very close to the center so uh, what people are able to observe um, only makes sense if the earth is round and the ball so and, and so far I haven't seen any good flat earth explanation for this fact so um, one of the big uh, big uh, statements that they made is like um, if it's such if it's supposed to be a flat earth how do we see a ship disappear in the horizon and then somebody actually grabbed a super zoom camera and once they saw the ship disappear he grabbed it zoomed in into the exact spot and that ship was on camera mm -hmm. still the whole thing yeah and then it kept going and going and the ship didn't look like it was dipping or anything mm -hmm. it just kept going yeah uh-huh so when i saw that video number one um he only started recording when he was not able to see the ship with his naked eye um it doesn't mean that the ship had gone over the horizon yet because it only meant that he could no longer see the ship with his naked eye so then he grabbed his camera and he zooms in to the point where you are able to see the ship and you're able to see the whole ship that's true the problem is is that the ship had not yet gone over the horizon how far is the horizon i heard it's supposed to be dipping every every like few miles are supposed to be dipping a little bit imagine so the horizon changes depending on the height on your height so the higher you are the further out the horizon is going to be the closer to the ground you are the closer the horizon is going to be to you um, so for example in this example of this video where the, the dude just zooms in on the ship and it's still there um, he was holding his camera at a certain height and so therefore that camera is able to see way further than that ship currently was if the ship had continued to go up much much further then you would see the ship begin to kind of um, sail under the horizon um, so there are actual uh, videos properly done videos where a person takes a telescope because telescopes is what um, sailors, pirates, we've had telescopes for centuries and telescopes are strong enough um, to see um, you know as far as you can see so um, and that's why sailors and the Navy people who have been at the ocean who work at the ocean they've always known this that when they're looking out for other ships and they see one start rising up from the horizon right so 
uh, again, you can look up YouTube. You can you can actually look up ships going over the horizon with people with strong enough telescopes and, and uh, cameras, and you can clearly see that it's not that the ship is disappearing, getting so small that you can't see it anymore, because that's what needs to happen on the flat Earth, where basically the object gets so small that not even with the strongest telescope um, you can see it anymore. But really what is happening is you can see a ship that it's still in full view and instead of getting so small that you can't see it anymore, it actually appears as though it's sinking more and more and more into the ocean and the whole time it's not getting much smaller. It's just the same size except it just sinks over the horizon. And uh, what do you think What do you think about pilots claiming that um, when they take off and they're cruising in an altitude, they reach an altitude, mm -hmm. they have to cruise at a level. You mean like uh, an altitude? To, at their, they cruise at their altitude. They're never dipping down, going uh -huh. with the curve of the Earth. Because it, in fact, if they go keep going straight, 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 they're gonna have to pitch down if they're gonna follow the earth. So, um, so here's another like seems to be a big misunderstanding of how gravity works. Uh, because I've heard comments um, from flat earthers about if the earth is really rotating and if the earth is really moving, why is it that if you send if you send some object up into the sky? and it comes back down, why is it in the same spot? If the Earth is revolving, why doesn't it come down on a different spot? The problem is, is that it's a misunderstanding that the air and the atmosphere around the Earth revolves with the Earth. Um, this is the reason why clouds um, that seem to be stationary to us, when you look at it from a satellite or you know, if you really see what's going on, it's you understand that clouds are moving with the Earth. The whole atmosphere moves with the Earth. So when somebody or any object is in the sky, the air and everything, like this air that I'm breathing right now, is rotating with me, with all of us, as the Earth rotates. If that were not the case, then we would all feel wind all the time because the air would be stationary, but the earth would be revolving. And so there would be wind constantly. But that's, so it's a misunderstanding. And that's one of the arguments that the flat earthers make. Shouldn't there be wind constantly? It's just a misunderstanding that the, the atmosphere itself is rotating with the earth. Okay. You know, one thing I do want to say though, this is very important to me. Yeah. Uh, because as Christians, we are supposed to be about the truth, yeah. right? And um, I think it is very, it, it can be very damaging uh, to the credibility of a Christian um, if they're trying to speak about God in the Bible and all of a sudden they come out with this flat earth stuff, you know? Um, like all of a sudden the person that we're trying to talk to may I think that, okay, this person is just way out there because um, humanity has known that the earth is round for almost a thousand years, maybe even more. It's not something that NASA made up. It's something that the uh, Greek and Roman empires were able to figure out for themselves. You know, it's something that's that was calculated with math. So that's the only thing I would want to point out is that if we are Christians and we're all about the truth and about facts, um, then do your due diligence. Uh, look at the evidence for a round earth before you totally dismiss it because you'll see that the evidence for a round earth is, is so much more, is so much stronger than the evidence or the doubts that the Flat Earth Society is trying to put out there. Thank you, Justin. All right. So, catch us next time on our episodes. Uh, this is Justin. My name is Josh, and we'll catch you later. Now, guys, don't forget about next week. We have a special video coming. 
and the girls are gonna be leading it. It's gonna be good. Uh, don't forget to check out our other videos. Like, share, and subscribe. Give us a little comment down below if you have any questions or just crazy ideas uh, for more videos as well. See you guys next time. Peace.